All right, ladies and gentlemen. So it's been a while. Ooh, I'll get into that in a minute. But uh, this video might look better than usual because shout out to Caro. I'm using her uh, Canon G7. So I haven't been able to film anything because my GoPro for some reason is brand new, right? It just stopped working, like no audio, like it hardly turns on. So I wasn't able to film anything. They're warrantying it, so I'm getting a new one, but not till Thursday. And I wanted to come out here and film some stuff because I feel like if I'm gonna work on this car, I should film it. So because I can't film it, I haven't been working on the car. I don't really know how to use this, this fancy Canon, so like, I don't know, bear with me. So the E12, I got a little something for it. Uh, these popped up for sale on Facebook. These are original condition, or original finish, 1991 OZ Fittipaldi's. Um, these are really rad wheels, and I didn't need wheels, but I really wanted them. And, you know, they're uh, perfectly period correct, and they, I think they would fit this car perfect. So I had to jump on them. They're 16 by 7s, which sounds like a very tiny wheel, and it is. But on these cars, it looks good. So right here, I have one... Literally not even test fitted. This is literally me with the jack. It's not even close to being mounted on the hub. But this is just me just seeing how good it could look, you know, if I did air suspension. It's not gonna look this low, but and it won't be, I have that much camber. These will fit probably perfectly. But that's just me mocking it up, so stay tuned. Uh, soon enough, I'll finally get suspension for the E12. Until then, look at this disaster. So this car, as you guys know, needs the calipers rebuilt. So this video, I'm gonna rebuild the front calipers. Then I actually got stainless steel Ireland engineering uh, brake lines. So these are pretty raw. Like I said, I gotta pull all four of these pistons out of the caliper. All right, I got the caliper off and on the bench. So as you can see from the uh, last footage, I just got one of the pistons out. So basically what you do now is take some vice grips, grip onto the piston, and you gotta kinda wiggle them out. Then you gotta pull the dust boots out. There's little retaining clips on the sides. You pick them out, and then the dust boots come with it. I can see why they say to wiggle them out with the caliper still bolted, because it's really hard to like get like a grip with the vice grips and like pull them out with like a freak thing. And I don't have a freaking vice that's actually attached to the workbench, of course. So I've just been putting them on the floor, holding them with my foot, twisting them, and you'll feel like it'll get easier to twist. Then you gotta kinda just pry them out with the vice grip while spinning and you'll run into like rough patches. So as you can see here, this one's pretty rusty. They're in pretty good condition, so these calipers will be fine. So I got all the pistons out, so one, two, three, four. And then these are all the old dust boots and rings. I still have the inner uh, black rings you can maybe kind of see. So I had to go get a, I got like a dental pick because you're not like, you're not supposed to scratch the, the pistons or the bores because then you'll leak brake fluid. So you gotta use something that won't scratch them or like gouge it. Finally finished taking off the, uh, the driver side caliper and after about two hours of trying to fish these out, I think this caliper was worse this took a long time, it was pretty excruciating. So now I got both of them done and all the uh, old seals out. I have two pistons sitting in vinegar, this is the only amount of vinegar I had left. But uh, tomorrow once the stores are open, I'm gonna put on a freaking hazmat suit and venture in and I'm gonna get some like, uh, I don't know, like rust, like removing like solvent and I'm gonna soak the calipers in it and the pistons in it for like a day or so. I'm not in a rush to finish things because like I said, there's a lot of stuff to do to that thing. So I have one of the calipers sitting in this stuff. You can see it bubbling and sizzling. Uh, I only have enough to put one at a time. Then I have the pistons in here. So I'm gonna let them sit for a day and then I'm gonna take this caliper out and put the other caliper in here. I've been letting the uh, stuff soak. It's been about three hours. I apologize if this camera work looks really dumb. I'm holding this camera with my left hand because I have my glove on my right and this is like a severely right-handed camera so it's kind of hard to use the left hand. But I'm gonna pull it out and see what it looks like after three hours. Oh wow. <laughs> that is, that looks like brand new, holy crap. 
wow, I'm kind of astonished at how this looks. This is like a brand new caliper. So that's before, hopefully you can see inside the, uh, the pistons, the rust, and then that's three hours. I was wondering what I'm using. Rust-Oleum Rust Dissolver. The uh, front calipers soak. I figured I should put up the rear and check the rear. As you can see here, they do not spin whatsoever. They are very seasoned. Yes, the car is e-brake down, is down and it's out of gear. I've never done like a full like refresh on brakes like that, and it's really satisfying and it's really cool to like see like have like fresh stuff, fresh looking stuff. And I want this car to be 100%, I want it to drive 100%, I don't want to really cut corners on it. So here in the rear, it's the same setup as the front, you have two pins, and then you have the uh, anti-rattle clip, and then the, the uh, pads slide out. The rears though, however, unlike the front, are much more rusty. So I mean, these were really hard to get out, I really had to punch them with a hammer. I don't know why these old BMWs are mixed like this. Normally you'd have the hard line which would go to the soft line into the caliper. For some reason, these cars put the soft line at like random spots. So here's the rear soft line that I have to undo. So that's way tucked up above the subframe, which is kind of an obnoxious spot to get to, but oh well. The more I dig in, the more it looks like the E12 is not leaving anytime soon. I'm not leaving. I'm not fucking leaving! So the next uh, step of problems, so I got the rear calipers off and like I said the pistons are out a decent amount but the problem is these are a lot tighter of a space in the fronts so I can't fit the vice grips around the actual caliper or around the actual piston but still in between the space. So I'm kind of stuck here. I might shave down these uh, vice grips to make them fit. We'll see. So I busted out the uh, old trusty grinder and uh, went to work on the vice grips here. So as you can see, I filed them down a decent amount. So uh, they actually do now grip in there and I have a little bit of motion to go back and forth. I don't know if it'll be enough to actually get anywhere. So I'm going to sit here and try and play with this and see if I can get somewhere with this. I notched the uh, vice grips even more right here and right here. And I actually now have some pretty solid, it's too hard to turn with one hand, but I actually have some solid motion. It, it goes right to where I want it to go. So I think this will work. So. so in case you were wondering what basically getting a old pistons out of a caliper is like when they're seized, basically sitting here interchanging spinning it and pulling it out for about hours on end so I finished the one rear caliper this is the last rear caliper the rear calipers are two piston the fronts like I said are four so you're gonna be sitting there doing this for God knows how long I'm pretty sure my hand is like permanently bruised here it's pretty pretty miserable but uh, you gotta do what you gotta do to some miracle, the homemade vice grips work. I got all the pistons out of the calipers. Uh, one of them is in the uh, the rust bath because I pulled them out and unfortunately they don't look as good as the fronts. So maybe if you can see, you see the edge here. They have some pretty good rust more than what the fronts had. These three are actually, don't look too bad. There's a little pitting right there. And there's some spots of pitting, but otherwise I went at them with the uh, brass brush and was actually able to get a lot of that harder to get rust off, which is good. So I'm going to soak these in the bath. The first one I got out, which I left in there overnight, had worse pitting than these ones. So here we have my acid bath, so I'm going to... Oh, see, yeah, that's the uh, front rattle clip looks really nice. I'm going to try to find that rear piston. Here we go. See that outer edge where it's like kind of black? That's where the pitting kind of took advantage of this piston. So it's still pretty pitted. It's only on the edge, which isn't bad. I mean, you can maybe get away with it. I might have to ask uh, one of the E28 or E12 heads that know more than me about this. I've never 
rebuilt calipers, so I don't want to risk it and have them leak. So I pulled the uh, second front caliper out of the uh, solution and it's clear to me that this stuff after bathing one thing kind of loses its efficiency because if you look at this one as opposed to this one this is bare like clear like it's stripped everything this one still this one's like slimy like like the finish so I think that stuff actually pulled off the finish but uh, it's fine I'm gonna repaint them but this one still has like a lot of like slimy finish and just residue all over it. I just pulled the uh, rear caliper out of the bath. So here's a nice before and after. So I have this nice little rigged up paint booth in something in my mom's garden, like this trough or whatever. So I got some VHT high temp caliper paint. I got a coat hanger and whatever that is. And now I'm gonna spray these calipers. I taped off the uh, piston bores really awfully with uh, duct tape. So hopefully that works for me. Very nice. Came out pretty good. I mean, I just sprayed it, so it's got a cure for a couple minutes, but you know, I wasn't really expecting this to not look good, but I realized that I said trough. I meant truss. So here I just hung up the other one. This one's still curing, so I'm going to spray this one. Not really worried about overspray. It doesn't really matter. So again, coat hanger coming in clutch. All right, so putting in the uh, pistons. So I got the dust boot around them. It just sits around the lip. I got brake fluid here. Lubing up the uh, pistons with brake fluid. There's like a certain like lube you can use, but uh, I don't have it, so brake fluid works good enough. And then you just insert it in straight, and then should pop right down. These are kind of a pain sometimes, but there we go. And voila, just like that. Fully rebuilt, refinished, the paint's cured, and I got the pistons in with the new dust boots, the new O-rings, and the new C-clips. These look very nice. I'm very happy with how this came out. The paint looks good. All right, so now it's time to throw in the stainless steel brake lines and pull out these old uh, rubber ones. So I was putting the calipers on and I may have had one of the most frustrated, pissed off moments in my life. So I was tightening in the uh, hard line into the caliper and I went to, you know, tighten it all the way and it spun, right? I was like, God damn it. I thought I cross threaded it, which I did. So this is the pipe and it's actually... I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but uh, whatever, cross-threaded. So then I pulled it out and I said to myself, I really just destroyed this caliper that I spent days rebuilding. But then I pulled it off and I looked in here and I kind of used compressed air and cleaned it. And there's still threads in here. So I took the pipe out and I threaded the good end in and I was able to tighten it all the way. So I think this is good. I think it was the threads that gave up first. So I'm on real OEM and I looked up the uh, part number for the line. Just so happens it is the exact same part number. 563, 563. What a freaking good luck right here. All right, so I had the, uh, the line that I had laying around. I got it bent. Uh, decently and I got it installed everything tightened up there's the stainless lines rotor caliper pads looks freaking great and the E12's front brakes are finally all done. I'm still waiting on the rear rebuild kit, so the rear is it's gonna be the same thing. 
But I just want to put this video up and you guys don't need to see the same stuff over and over again. Thank you guys for watching another video. The E12 front brakes are done. I'm still waiting on the rebuild kit for the rears. I'm not going to worry about that. I just want to upload this video. I know I said I wanted to post shorter videos and uh, more videos, but the problem is like this job took me like four to five days. I can't quite remember because like I didn't order all the parts at once and then just the day gets busy and I can only do so much. So it's hard to upload you know, multiple videos a week when one video takes me a week. So I gotta work with what I got. I promise there'll be more content, quicker content, more uploads. As you can see here, the E36 is making its first appearance on the YouTube. I'll feature that in the next one. The uh, Calypso will be out soon. I think I'm gonna grab it this week sometime. I'm picking up my first V8 BMW uh, Saturday. More work on this, of course. It's never ending, but thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.